tour starts right here. Might as well start the uh, food tour. East in the museum, and he's showing me a hand-woven... Well, tell me about this. This is core memory. They are uh, ferrite oxide beads, ceramic beads, but they're ferrite magnetized, and you have a reed, a write, and a sense line that go through the ferrite beads. Uh, and depending upon which way the current flows, will flux the ferrite bead to a one or a zero, depending upon which way the flux is going. Wow, the sense that's line will actually go to that. Unbelievable. These transistors are all the drive electronics to actually do that reading and writing. That's fantastic. And then over here, you want to put that one back in the... Yep. You were saying that this right here is hand-woven core memory. Yep. Yep. You said one byte? Well, no, this was one. I forget that that's one byte. This is one byte, yeah. No, one bit. One bit. Yeah. Flip-flop. One or zero. Again, one green, zero red. This is so cool. Remember guys, this is at Wall Township. Vintage Computer Federation Museum. You should guys come take a look. Yeah. It's really amazing. Uh, if you get zoomed in, that's probably an 8086. Okay. 8088. A... What is that? 68, 6802. 6802. 6809. Rockwell, not necessarily Intel. Uh, second manufacturer, Motorola. Right? Motorola. I was going to say, I Intel, Intel Motorola. didn't build any of the, the uh, 6800 series. That was Motorola. That's a 6502 coded. That's MOS, right? Yep. And then the 68000. Chuck Pedal. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We just had a big demo on that yesterday. Uh, the history, how that, that went yeah. all the way from... Yeah, that was with Alex. Yeah, with the Kim 1 all the way to the yep. TurboGrafx-16. We're supposed to get an 8186 here. 8286, PLA. 386, 486. The legendary 486. Is that a DX2? No. no DX33. Uh, 8586, but now it's getting too monotonous. So Intel, that's why they call it a Pentium, but that's an 8586. And then all the way up, you're getting into all the other stuff. And then this shows you the modular with going into that subboard. Right. There's actually, you know, carrier that gets put in there. It became much easier to insert and remove with the little handles that they were right. using. Yeah, yeah. Sun. This is Western Electric Processors. Wow, look at that. That's a fascinating looking one. Uh, I got to get Jeff Jonas. A lot of this is Jeff Jonas's collection. Um, we should get little printouts of the... It's a, in process. Okay, cool. It's all in process. Another suggestion I would it's have two. actually... One. Should be the other way around. Two. Three. Oops. Sorry. Four. Uh, five, right? Two. That's four, five. That's uh, six. That should have flipped. Seven. Yeah, all of them was that. That's eight. Nine. Two cubed is eight, right? Yeah. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Ha <laughs> ha. So this is what a register would be. Every one of those flip-flops would be in this register. That was electronics there. And counting a high voltage or a low voltage. And this awesome. was done by Welsh Scientific, which was a, a, uh, a instructional company. This was not a toy. That was actually done for high school or middle school, that sort of situation, well, maybe I, even college. I, I gotta be camp. honest with you, you just taught me right now. Like I didn't honestly know how that These binary counter systems. works and you just really showed me right now. Really you count in base 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, but you yeah. visually just showed it to me in a way that I now got it. Yeah. Very nice. Because that base two, you can't have a two in that register. You only have a one or a zero. So you gotta move into the next register. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Thank you, Bill.